What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Cancerians? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And guys, just know that it's a free way to energetically support the channel as well as connect me with your energy to get you out more resonating read readings. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel further or getting a personal reading, that's all linked down below in the description box. I do want to thank you to anyone and everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed, gotten a personal reading, will get a personal reading, has donated, or will donate. I'm truly blessed and honored to share this time and space with you guys. That being said, I want to give a shout out to my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. As always, I'm privileged, honored, and blessed to be here giving you guys these messages. And my prayer, as always, is that they fall upon your heart in a way that reminds you to use your intuition, to use your discernment. Take back that power to make the decisions that best serve you on your highest journey in this here now, now here moment by taking that path of least resistance. With that being said, today we are going down the rabbit hole cancer with a fun, with a funny reading, with a funny reading. Yeah, okay, cool. I guess it's going to be funny. I guess we're going to find out uh, with the money in regard with money. That's what we're doing. Money. I can, I promise you guys I can talk. Are you guys a little bit discombobulated or frustrated about your money because I am not able to get this out. It's almost like you guys want to know, but you don't want to know. <sighs> Let me... Whoosh, goose Raba. Yeah, so we're here today to do a finances reading. I do just want to tell you guys that most of my readings is more about the blockages that are created, that are in your life, that are creating you... Uh, wow. Hold on, guys. Let me take a minute. I need to, like, recenter myself from your energy here because this is crazy. I will be right back. It'll be, like, a second for you guys. So, hold on. Okay, guys. I guess I could have started over, but shoot. I don't know. I feel like that has something to do with what's going on with you guys. Uh, I literally had to go eat a spoonful of peanut butter so I could ground myself because I felt like I was floating away, and that's why I couldn't talk. So I feel like before we ever even get started, that's a channel message for you guys is to get grounded. Um, I don't usually have to do that during readings, but it was so, it was intense, guys. I was like, wow, I got to go do something. I got to bring myself back down. So we're going to do a finances reading for you guys. I feel like you guys are so stuck in your head about money right now that you guys aren't even able to ground into life what you want so you keep asking or trying to manifest money you're asking for it asking for it asking for it but not believing that it's yours just hoping and praying that it's going to come to you guys rather than focusing on how you guys can manifest it you're just kind of like praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and then when your prayers don't get answered <coughs> you think that something's wrong and Source is trying to point out that's not how this works. You have to have faith, and I will always meet you halfway, but if you guys aren't putting in the work, how can Source meet you halfway? It's like there's no work going out, so of course there's no work going to come in. Do you see what I'm saying? So, wow. Okay, guys. Let's just get into it. They just want you to ground... They want you guys to begin to listen to yourselves, your intuition. I feel like you guys have been fighting yourselves and trying to listen to your intuition. Source has been giving you downloads, but you don't want to hear what Source has to say. It could be moving on from something that maybe hasn't been panning out for you guys for a while. Uh, maybe you guys have established something somewhere, and now you're being asked to move on from that so that you can establish found better foundational places in other situations again i still feel so discombobulated with you and it's not it's not me guys because i had a couple other readings today and i did some videos and they were all fine i just i come to your reading and it's like i can't even talk I feel like somebody maybe backstabbed you guys and took some money from you and you're so mad about it but you still don't want to let go of what it is that's giving you some sort of financial support at this time even though you're struggling it's like you know that you're getting involved in this lost cause and you know that there's going to be a lot of twists and turns if you leave and it's like easier to stay comfortable in an uncomfortable situation than it is to be uncomfortable and taking the right moves for yourself what messages do you have for cancer in regards to their finances source how can we help them out okay thank you they don't want you guys to give up though they just want you guys to stop listening to everybody else that's around you and do what's right for you. 
what everybody else says is right for you may not necessarily be what is right for you guys. Somebody's draining you guys emotionally. That means that if they're draining you guys emotionally, this person could be draining you also financially. And they don't want to change. They don't want you to change. But if you guys give yourselves an opportunity to work on yourselves, then you guys will overcome this situation. So, Source, what messages do you have for Cancer in regards to finances? For Cancer in regards to finances. Thank you. What other messages do you have for Cancer in regards to finances? Okay. What other messages do you have for Cancer in regards to finances? How can we help them outsource? Give me the clarifying card, please, Source. Finances for Cancer. Finances for Cancer. Clarifier. Okay, they wanted to clarify these two. Okay, we have the Nine of Coins reversed on the bottom with the Knight of Swords reversed on the bottom and the Ten of Wands reversed and the page of wands with the devil behind oh my lord let's talk about this for a second here and the six of cups underneath that this is a romantic relationship that you guys are in and they're only in it for the sex and they're only in it for the money so let me show these to you guys right so there's a lot of illusions here a lot of illusions this person is in very toxic energy they're very greedy this person uses sex, and they also use your, your financial responsibilities as a way to get you guys to do exactly what they want. And you're believing them that it's because it's your responsibility to take care of things. So maybe there's kids involved. There doesn't have to be, but it could be kids. It could be a home. Maybe you're paying for a home, and it's like, if I, you know, get rid of everything that I have, then I have to let go of this home, and where is this person going to live? It's like, you're basically taking it on yourself to uh, say it's your responsibility whether or not this person succeeds in life, and that's not up to you, okay? That's not up to you. It's time for you to let go of illusions, and that's why I think you're afraid to be single with from this person. If the Nine of Coins were here or in the upright, it'd be that you guys are single, but you're not right now. You keep rushing back in because of the finances. You keep rushing back in because you feel like it's your duty to take care of them. And this person knows that, and this person feeds on that, and they also feed on, I feel like this person withdraws from you sexually until you take care of them, what they feel like is their, like your responsibility financially, right? It's like, I keep hearing giving them an allowance, I keep hearing like taking care of their clothes, buying them what they want, when you buy them what they want, then they give you sex. Whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. It's like you are the one that's financially supporting them in the situation. You're the one that's taking care of everything. And it's like you're the only one that's holding it on your shoulders. Well, this person gets to enjoy life the way that they want. It's like I don't feel like you guys are super rich or anything like that. And I'm not here saying like, oh, that's a good or a bad thing. Okay, like I'm not trying to put you down at where you're at in your journey. What I'm saying is it's not like you guys have millions of dollars like that just laying around to help people out whenever or to do whatever it is that they want. You guys are comfortable, but this person wants to act like they're a millionaire and they want you to, like, it's like I hear like a sugar daddy or a sugar mama, like that's what they want and they want you to fill that role and you've been doing that, but you've been doing that out of obligation. Okay, you've been doing that out of obligation and this person has you tied. Also, I feel like there's a lot of third-party situations in here. You could be cheating on them. They could be cheating on you. Neither one of you guys are faithful to the other. It's like, basically, you're both chained to each other, but you're only chained to each other because, again, there could be kids or there could be... There's something that's tying the two of you together. Maybe you guys bought a house together. You have a car together. Maybe you guys have, you know, financial, financial responsibilities together, but there could be kids again. But there's this energy, this person knows this, and this person uses whatever that is for whoever this is for. They use that against you, and they really, they don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you succeed because they're living the good life based on your dime. And again, with the six of cups coming out in reverse and the ace of wands coming out in reverse behind that, with the ten of swords, guys, oh my gosh, this person is like your equal match. It's like no matter how much you try to smooth over the situation, this person always finds an excuse or a reason to blow things up. 
Then they also, they hold sex over your head. This person holds sex over your head. This person, you know it's a failed relationship, but you're staying. You keep staying in this failed relationship. Sorry, I got to go deeper. Yes. What did I say? We've got the queen of coins in the reverse. This person is overbearing. They're controlling. They're ruthless. It could be a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. It could be a Virgo. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Leo and Aries. It could be... We have heavy Capricorn energy. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Gemini. i got heavy Sagittarian energy coming through here too. But guys, understanding that this person does not have your best interest in mind. They're only looking out for themselves. Like, that's... Wow. That's crazy. Let's see what's going on over here on the cards. Wow, okay, we've got the justice in reverse. We have the four of coins in the upright. We have the six of wands in the reverse. Wow. And the five of coins. Look, we have the four and five of coins coming. We have four, five, and six coming out together. I understand why they wanted these together. So here's the deal. You, uh, what did I say? I felt like you both are unfaithful to each other. And we have justice coming out here. And Justice is talking about this is a karmic situation first and foremost. But the other thing is, too, is the reason you're not receiving justice in this situation is because when this person hurts you, you go out of your way to hurt them. Okay, and, and um, you know, that's sometimes that's just cancer energy for you guys. You guys get crabby and you pinch people. It's like Scorpio energy. They get, you know, upset and they pinch people. They sting people and it's like poison, right? It's like at all costs, they want to make somebody feel the same way that they've been they've been treated and so this is telling me that you guys are doing something to this person that they also are doing to you You're gonna keep getting led back to being unfaithful wow i just bit my cheek not hard or anything but they're just saying like the truth is as the truth does it's like you guys don't want to accept it you don't want to see it it's like you know what you do behind closed doors but you're not willing to admit that to anybody also i did hear turn the other cheek My eye is vibrating. You guys do not want to see the truth of the situation. It's like you're letting your obligation. So with the justice here, this could be a contract. Maybe you guys are married. You don't have to be. You guys could be, you know, uh, what's it, that word? Common law. You guys could be common law, but there's like legality here that's tying you guys together. And it's like you are trying to receive your justice again. You're praying and praying and praying and praying for money. You're praying and praying and praying and praying for things to go your way. But they're not going your way. And it's because you're not, you're not taking accountability for how you're showing up. It's like you're blaming this person and the anger and the upsets that they're putting in the situation. But at the same time, you're not taking accountability for the way that you're showing up. It's a double-edged sword, sword here, guys. And again, with the four of coins here, this is telling me it's a home situation. This is not because you guys are stable financially. You're comfortable. But I feel like it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And there's things are falling apart right now. And it's like, if I could only get, like, just even say $1,000 a month, right? Like an extra $1,000 a month so that I could take care of what I need to for myself. But it's not coming through. It's like, you guys are comfortable. It's a home situation. There's a foundation that's built here. But the foundation is crumbling. The foundation is falling apart. Why is it falling apart? Because there's a lot of greed here. There's a greed and a want to be, to be perceived a certain way. Also with the six in reverse showing me there's a huge imbalance. And I keep hearing promiscuity. I keep hearing that. So you guys are cheating on each other. You're going out seeking refuge with others. And they're going out seeking refuge with others. Then you all come back home and fight with each other all day long. The cards don't lie, guys. Like, I'm sorry. This is what's going on with your finances. This is a huge block in your finances. You have an opportunity to change that, right? We can change our energy at any one given moment as long as we take accountability for ourselves and what we're bringing in. Are you willing to end things and go be single for yourself and take care of yourself? Are you going to let this person convince you that your responsibilities are your responsibilities and that you have to take care of them plus whatever else is going on because that's the thing it's like people are going to make it seem like it's your fault 
But look, it, that's what they're saying here with this six and this four here. We have ten and then we have eight. You have your eight, which is your karmic cycle. It goes around, comes around. So it's like the energy that you're putting out continues to come back around to you because of this connection, which is faltering on your finances because they're affecting your finances because they only want to give you what you want when you give them what they want. Tit for tat. That's what I hear. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth, right? And Source is saying it's like time for you to complete this cycle, but you have to tie up the loose ends. And the only way to tie up loose ends is to choose yourself over the situation and not feel guilty about it. We have the five of coins here in the reverse. This is saying that you have to get away for a time being. I feel like something's coming up that's actually going to take you away from this connection for a little bit. We have the nine of coins coming out twice. So nine is a powerful number for you guys. That source just reminding you it's time to type any loose ends that are not serving you. Y'all act single, but you're not. Ooh. Sorry, guys. That's that. Now I understand why I was so discombobulated when I started because it's like. I think you guys fear somebody understanding or even knowing the truth about you because you try to put on a good show for everybody because for you being cancer, your biggest thing is to appear stable in the home life. And if that falls apart, then what do you have? You're the mother of the Zodiac. You guys are represented by nurturing, caring home. And your home is anything but that. And it's like you appear to the outside world. You try to paint this pretty picture to everybody, friends and family. Oh, no, we're doing good. You know, me and Bob are... Are great me and George are doing wonderful you know me and Samantha we've got everything worked out you know things are really working for us and, and at the end of the day it's like you're in this crazy I mean this is crazy ass energy here guys this is crazy ass energy y'all don't know what's up from down I mean it's like trust me I've been there guys like I've been there trying to convince people on the outside that I'm doing so good but then when I go home I just sit in my mind and I'm like you know, wow, this is a terrible situation. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love you guys. Thank you for clarifying that. We have Orca, Songlines, and we have Hyena, Fear on the bottom. Look at this. I'm going to put it this way because they're trying to show you you guys have to move on from generational curses, which is a fear-based way. It's like you guys are trying to impress everybody in your circle that things are okay, but they're seeing you fall apart, and you have to move into a place of abundance. So an abundant mindset, but you guys aren't able to do that because you're letting these generational curses get the best of you. And you're so disconnected right now from your inner child. What you want is equality. And I feel like you guys maybe have tasted equality from somebody, but you can't even go towards this person that you care about because of the situation that's going on behind closed doors. And you're too afraid to admit the truth to this person. You're too afraid to admit the truth to whoever it is that's been behind closed doors. This is all about your money, but that's why your money's being tied up, guys. But they're trying to tell you guys it's a it's a matter of the heart. Like your your matters of the heart are preventing you guys from uh, from manifesting the money that you desire. Plus, I feel like there was somebody who was very high vibrational who came into your life to help you heal, and that healing took place. It scared the shit out of you, Cancer, and you ran and you hid. And when you ran and you hid, this person walked out of your life and it felt like things just started to fall apart. What What's going on is things are falling apart to fall into place, okay? This is a very raw reading, guys. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. We have Autumn Equinox release with love and compassion coming out on the bottom here. It's like you have to release the old situation and come into a place of self-love. This card here is not talking about romantic love. This is talking about giving to your own heart. Our hearts are energy uh, antennas. It's about love and giving and receiving. This person was giving you love, but and you were receiving that love, but you in turn weren't giving to that person, so they weren't receiving any love from you, and they had to leave. And when they left, right, I feel like this person released you, and it forced you into a place of understanding, wow, like, that's what it's like to be left out in the cold. And again, this could be somebody that's doing to you this to you, but whoever this is resonating with, it's like both parties involved in this are doing the shady thing, okay? And and I'm not here to judge. Like, it's cool. You guys have done the best that you've done with what you knew how to do. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. I thought it was something else, but they wanted this to come out. Wind activation. It's like, yeah, you guys are activating a higher mindset here. 
seeing the world from eyes of love. And that's been really difficult for you because I feel like this person had you in a state of dismay and upset. And we have number 11 coming through here too. And number 11 is all about doing what you know you need to do in this situation. And I feel like that's been really hard for me. You've kept yourself from making a decision. I don't know if you guys actually end this. Like, I don't know if that other person will actually take you. I, I, I don't know. Like, I can't say that they will or they won't. Like, it's not being clear here. But the thing is, is that I hear you guys asking, well, what about that other person? You know, I love them so much. If I, if I do this, you know, will they take me back? It's, you know, this has not been about you getting together with this other person. This has been about you guys getting together with yourself. They forced healing into your life, you know, and you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. We have Capricorn, uh, what do we have? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo all coming out here. It doesn't have to be, but you could be. You could also be dealing with a Libra. If you guys are a Libra, you're dealing with a Libra. That reading was also very intense. Okay, thank you, Source. Regardless, though, guys, like, you have to take accountability for your own actions. Even if they're shady, like, you got to send that part of yourself love. We're all capable of bad things. That doesn't make us a bad person. It makes us misguided, right? And I think that's the thing. We have to look at it that way. We have to stop looking at it as, like, I'm a terrible person because I did these things, you know? You're not a terrible person. You were just misguided, and you made the best decision for yourself with what you knew in that time. We have number 15 coming out here, elk, masculine, and fire. So yeah, there could be definitely a fire sign that you guys are involved with, but this is about really leaning into your strength and understanding that you have protection and taking action is what I heard. And number six, again, seeing yourself with eyes of love. So I'm going to read these to you guys um, once we get there, but let's see what we've got coming out. I can't with you guys. We have reciprocity, honeybee. Number six. Six is a powerful number for you guys. You guys see six all the time. I feel like that source is just reminding you that it's time for you guys to find balance and harmony in your life and to see yourselves with eyes of love. No matter the decisions that you've made in life, that doesn't mean that you're void of source love. Like source loves you unconditionally regardless of the decisions that you made. And it's important for you to begin to love yourself in that way too. And I feel like this person that came in that shined a light on your financial situation without you realizing it made you realize that you weren't loving on yourself at all. It was like wanting your cake and eating it too. And, and that just, it finally didn't work for you. It just didn't work for you. And now you feel like a terrible person at it. And you don't need to, Cancer. You don't need to feel like a terrible person. I'm not here saying what you did was bad. I'm not. But sometimes we need to hear what we need to hear so we can learn to grow beyond that. Yeah, being vulnerable. Meadow, vulnerability coming out. Like, it's really hard for you to open up your heart. Again, I, this makes so much sense with everything that's going on. It's easier to put up a wall and it's easier to maintain rather than to be vulnerable and admit that maybe you were wrong or maybe what you did was wrong. That doesn't make you a bad person. I feel like I have to keep repeating that because I feel like in here, whoever this is resonating with, you guys really feel like a bad person and you're not. You're not a bad person. Whatever decisions you made, you had to make in that moment. It doesn't mean that you can't change it. Like you can change the direction that you're headed in. You might not be able to change the past, but you can always change the now moment, okay? And that's with you guys opening up your heart and beginning to be vulnerable, not just with others, but with yourself. Just saying, you know what? Maybe I did, you know, make this decision and I felt like it was the right at the time, but I love that part of myself and I love knowing that I'm capable of changing from that person and I love that I know that I'm, I'm still a good person because of this. It doesn't make me a bad person. Even if somebody, like, I feel like this person that you're involved with, if they found out all the truth of everything, just like if you found out of all the truth of everything they did, you guys would accuse each other of being a terrible person. And neither one of you guys are terrible. It's just this connection was built on faulty land, and it was built on emotional instability. Okay, and it's been a long time. Like, you know, I hear that song by Sam Cooke, Long Time Coming. It's coming through, right? It's like there's going to be a change. It's like whether you want it to or not, there's going to be a change. There's going to be something that forces a change here. Whether that's you or its source, one way or the other, there's going to be a change that comes through. <coughs> wow. <coughs> you don't want it to. I get it. 
I get it. You don't want it to. <coughs> Thank you. But it has to happen. It has to happen. You can't just go on living like this, okay? Like, Source doesn't let us stay in situations that aren't serving us. Something will always happen that will force us to change. I did hear that somebody might get pregnant, so please be careful. And it's not going to be yours. It's not going to be theirs. Like, wherever the situation is, if you're a man, if you're a woman, it doesn't matter. But there's going to, there's a pregnancy that's coming through. Now I know why I had to ground before I came into your guys's. You know, I want all of my readings to be positive, but I'm, I'm a truth teller, guys. I'm, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm a truth teller. And that's. You know, it's not easy sometimes. This is not easy. <laughs> you know, I think people think this job is easy, but it's not. It's not easy seeing how people are behind closed doors, you know. I get to see right into your heart. I get to see the things that you do that you don't want to admit to other people. And sometimes that is not an easy thing to know or to see. They're like, oh, that's probably a really cool thing to... Mm -hmm. If you don't have that ability, just be thankful. We have number 50, Agate. Feminine, second chakra, and air. Second chakra is our sacral chakra. Okay? Air is all about communication. The feminine energy, right? That's our, our sacral chakra is about our right to love and to be loved. And I feel like in here you guys are struggling with that. And so it would benefit you guys to get connected with some agate. You know, I have some blue agate here on my, my altar. It would really benefit you guys to connect with it. It's also a truth stone. And it helps you guys connect in your dreams to find answers. So, I mean, the color of the agate de definitely depends on the abilities that it has, shares with you. But we have Aspen, number 45, 9, coming out again. Masculine, East, Mercury, and Air. Mercury is all about the planet of communication. And we just, we're on the tail end of Mercury retrograde right now. And so... Things may be a little bit rough for you guys, but you have to communicate how you feel. And again, taking action. We have masculine and feminine coming out together. I'm going to read these to you guys. And let's see where we go first. Okay, so they want me to read agate first. I am agate. I am stimulation of all the senses. It is time to spark interest in all directions. Love, relationships, creativity, and abundance. Open yourself up to community and group work. Recognition for your accomplishments is assured. Be courageous and brave. I give you increased strength, protection, stability, and support for growth and balance. You must adapt to the situation and communicate your intentions. I restore sleep and create pleasant dreams. I am discernment. So again, this is like, you guys, what did I say? It's interesting because this, this connects with your dreams and it gives you messages and dreams. And they're, they're bringing that up again, just saying how important it is for you guys. I feel like you dream and you get answers in your dreams, but I feel like maybe you guys haven't been able to listen to those messages because you're not sure what they mean it's okay to do research for yourself you know and it's okay to ask somebody you know dream experts if if they can help you with that don't be afraid to ask for help i am aspen i am the nurse tree it is time for nurturing the inner child i'm done with you guys i'm done i'm spent what did i say over here you guys are disconnected from the inner child and we have aspen coming out to clarify that like Guys, this is this is proof that this reading is for somebody, and that's okay. It's okay. It is in my shade that evergreens grow back after fires and after natural disasters. This whole situation is a natural disaster. It's on flames, you know? Shaded by my protective foliage, I keep you safe from the known and the unknown. I'm always there to help and assist you on your pathworking journey. I guard your mental well-being and your resources. Eloquence and elegance are yours. Use them to your advantage by being different. I am loyalty and harmony. You can depend on me and you can count on yourself. What did I say? This is all about you guys finding harmony once again with your life. I mean, it's fine if you guys... Like, here's the thing. You get the choice. You can continue to live the way that you've been living or you can choose to change. It's up to you. 
But I can definitely see there's a lot of chaos. If you guys continue with the way that you're going, there's going to be a lot more chaos in your life, and you don't like it. Like, it's, it's starting to weigh on you. And as much as you love your home life to be stable, Cancer, there's not anything you can do to save this. You can save yourself, but I don't think there's anything you can do to bring into the situation to save the situation. I wish there was, but you guys are going to get, there's going to be reciprocity brought back into your life when you guys find a place of balance and harmony within yourself and allow yourselves to be vulnerable with the only person that matters and that's you. Okay? I love you, Cancer. You guys are deserving of the best of the best, but you have to start believing that for yourself. Anybody can tell you that, but if you don't believe it, it's going to be hard to bring that in. Okay? So I'm going to leave it there. With that being said, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we see each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.